guys welcome to today today is Wednesday and we are off to the races I got Sam Sam is home today every other day or his schedule varies all the time now so we got Sam today which meant that I didn't have to do chores but you guys should know that when Sam does chores it frees me up to have a shower uh, plan my day clean the house get the girls or like I'm not just hanging out watching TV am I He's like, um, he's, do not no, because you don't watch TV that much. I got ready. I got ready. I got the girls ready. I did work. How did you get me ready? I had to wake you up. I usually have to wake you up. I she never has to wake went to me the up. bathroom when you were in the bathroom, and I came in the bathroom and you ran to the toilet. Yeah, we have this thing in our family where we're super competitive, and we always pretend we're not going to the bathroom. I don't know why, but. Anytime one person has to go to the bathroom, then everybody suddenly has to go to the bathroom. Super annoying. Like, I'll be like starting to walk up the stairs and all of a sudden Gabby will come out of her room. And so they'll have to like run as fast as I can and beat her to the bathroom. It gets sort of aggressive at our house. Like, you come over, you might come over one day and just be having tea and be relaxing. And all of a sudden there's like eye contact between two of our family members and then zoom, the race is off and we all race to go to the bathroom. We grab each other's waist and throw each other behind us. Okay, only I do that. <laughs> but they try and fight me. Yeah, like they try and fight me and are like, I'm gonna be first. That's because but I will she's always win. Tall. Yeah, I'm tall. Yeah. So she wins, she goes tall yep. and wide. Can't yep. cast the door. <laughs> Some people think that's rude, but we are not uh, a sensitive family. We are not uh, We are not an emotional family. So when she says I'm tall and wide and she can't get past me It's okay because I feel like maybe that's true and it doesn't matter if it's true yeah, because My self-esteem comes from who I am in size and that's what I base my self-esteem on not if I'm tall or short or fat or skinny or I have brown hair or I have blonde hair or I have long hair or I have short hair or I have white skin or any other color of skin. My self esteem is based on my actions and I just want to go out there and have fun in life so yeah it might be rude to some people who who have a different thought process. Right we made it. I got my gun in case I have to shoot anybody. Oh no you're not bringing it in the field they will run away. No I'm gonna shoot bubbles at the horses and see how they respond. If they run away you're... How do you know Chino's there? Because I've seen him. Hi, Chino! Chino's going on the back door. Uh-oh. That's good news. <laughs> My boy's going to have to walk. This is Chino's last day of being lame. Hopefully, knock on wood. Can I shoot it at Chino? No. Why? Not in the field. Oh my gosh. We need to be safe. And what were you going to do? Look, he wants to be ridden. Like He's like, take me! He's going to pee. Oh, he's going to pee. Hopefully he's just going to pee because that kind of stance makes me nervous. Yep, he's peeing. Gabby takes a minute to go over and say, I love you, Chino. <laughs> Give him a bite of a carrot. But I don't think she should take that chance when Storm be looking the whole entire time. So today we brought a carrot with us. Great, all the horses are running. Okay, Gabby, enough. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to... Oh, he's fine. We're going to... Take it in for me. Put it in your tack box. You're okay. What a way to say, come with me, horse. Don't be shy. Squirt him with bubbles. All right, you can't come. I'm sorry. Aw. Can you guys see? He's literally watching. He always stands on the outskirts of the pile. Keep going. Do you guys ever do that? Do you ever stand in the outskirts of the pile? Outskirts of the group? Hoping that you kind of just fit in by standing there, but knowing that you don't really fit in? Honest to God, I feel like that's the biggest problem in, in school and even in adults. Like, you just want to fit in. Fitting in is the most important human emotion, I feel like. We're born to need other people and to want to be a part of a group. Just like horses are herd animals. We are herd animals too. Where we make the mistake is... Somebody following me? <laughs> Where we make mistakes is just trying to fit in. When you try to fit in, it means that you have to change who you are inside to fit. Instead, what you want to do is you want to be who you are and find the group that matches you. You're fine. Finn is such a good boy. Never fights. 
Never ripped his blankets. They need warmer blankets on now, I feel like. Oh yeah, he's got a strap undone. Okay, I'm officially surrounded by horses. Oh my gosh. Go away, go away. <laughs> I'm telling Sophie, you're fine. I know the boy. You're fine, Sophie. And then I freak out and she's like, just stand still, mom. So I know you guys are all saying like, Laura, I go to work and there's all these ladies. Like if I don't fit in, even though none of us, you don't have to. if I don't fit in, even though I don't match them, then I'm just gonna stand out. Or Laura, I go to high school or I go to public school and there's like a big group of people. If I don't fit in, then I'm gonna stand out. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys the trick, the trick of being happy. Just the bring trick, your miniature pony into the school. The trick of belonging is to belong first with yourself. So even if it means standing apart, there's nothing wrong with standing apart. There's nothing wrong with being on your own. And that's where the biggest sin in life is, is that people feel shame when they are alone, but you shouldn't, you guys. Be yourself. Mom, that is all wrong. You have to bring your horse into school so you always have a friend. Yeah, so if Sophie went to school, she'd be bringing her horse so she always had a friend. But do you always need a friend? No. Who should be your best friend? Yourself. And I feel like it's a hard thing to learn to be yourself. Hard thing to learn to love yourself and that be okay. It's the hardest thing to learn, but it's the most important because once you love yourself and only need yourself, it'll free up everything so that you're able to go out there and find the people that really connect with you. If you have one person in this life that understands you, connects with you, and loves you for who you are, then that's amazing and that's normal. If you have three people that understand you and connect with you, that's insanely abnormal and you're blessed. But I want you guys to know that all those people out there that are in the big group and that are changing who they are so that they fit in instead of stand alone and stand strong, all those people are feeling the exact same things as you. You know what dad can do? As soon as it's 11, he can go. <gasps> that's such a good idea. Yeah, that's such a great idea. So we stopped to get some food because you guys know what Gabby's like when she doesn't eat, which is Wait, part of the problem I, car. what? Oreos and carbs. Oreos. Do you want them? Yeah. They're in a package. You know, on your door, the little compartments on your yeah. door. Yeah. So basically, we had to go so early this morning. We thought we'd stop at McDonald's and get her something. Yeah, and McDonald's it. doesn't doesn't cook at 10:30. So anyway, she didn't end up getting any food, and I feel like that's part of the why she's like seems grouchy all the time because she's not a grouchy kid. Is because not are those yours, Sophie? Uh, yeah, I just put them through. Mm. Um, it's because she doesn't eat. Like, she doesn't eat enough to do the things that she needs to do. Where Sophie and I, we'd make sure that we have a full belly before we do anything. Hi, Stormy Boy. Oh my goodness, you had your head in the hay. We should make a song about that, having your head in the hay. Yeah. Oh, he's like, rub me. Rub me. I'll be back, okay? What the heck is that? Oh, it's just hair growing back. There are no cookies in the van. There's an empty pack where you told me to look. Dad's gonna get you something to eat. Yeah. yeah. All right, so while I was looking for cookies all this time, Gabby was already tacking up. Holy heck, Gabby! Maybe you should not eat anything. Look at how fast she is. Oh my God, remember our last time with Brandon where it was almost really good until Chino got too tired and started yeah. jumping the pole and the two foot jump? Yeah. That was the first time I was riding with my new Lulu shirt. Mm -hmm. I didn't have anything to eat. Well, maybe you should. Add a little bit of a granola bar. That was it. And then after we went to the Maldives, so it's okay. Right. So there you have it, you guys. And I'm close, so it's easier. Yeah. So that's why Sophie always wants to go here. <laughs> okay. It's harder to sweep when you guys use the whole barn, though. Sophie's riding thin today. Are you excited? Yeah, because then I don't have to worry about Lazy Storm. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to ride a faster horse. Riding different horses, we still get a lot of comments about how our our, peep, our family ride each other's horses. It's never going to change. It's always going to be the way, you guys. The difference between my helmet, which is a Tipperary, and the 1K helmet that Gabby has on is that when you put the one, a lot better and everything's better. when you put it on, it's like it's like 
The Tipperary is kind of like a bike helmet. It just sits on your head, blah, blah, blah. But the 1K, when you put it on, it, it's like this foam thing completely surrounds your whole entire head and supports your head. Like, you feel so much support from it. Do you feel support from it? Yes. All right, let's roll. You got some banged up marks, mister. Look at how big he is. Like, he's so big. Don't poop. Don't poop. Keep going. Walk. Walk. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's looking. He's like, I'm going to do it. Finn, your forelock is terrible. He's it's like, like it's so big. It's just so small. Like, yeah, it's nice to have a big one. That's yeah. the main reason why he shakes his head. That's what everybody thinks. They think that his hair gets bothering him and then he shakes his head. That's why I cut it so that it wouldn't go into his eyes. So now he's better. Gabby has been a magician with uh, scissors lately. Every time I come, the horses look completely different. I'm like, yeah, wait. Also yeah. But I want to cut it like Hunter. Like I show up and suddenly the horse's mane, yeah, like this is way too long, huh? Yeah, you need yeah. to cut it for two inches long. Yeah. So they say that this is the season, you guys. This is the year we're gonna have back, we're gonna be back in, in show season. Like this is the year that we're finally gonna be not done with COVID, but out of COVID enough, enough people will be vaccinated. All right, so we had, we had a fabulous ride, Stormy proved again that he is capable of doing more and i guess the reason that we don't push him and the reason gabby got another horse is because even though he can do more you have to really push him and it, i think it doesn't like being pushed and let's see like being pushed or oh, like being pushed i can't believe you would do that like being pushed people thought you were so sensitive and kind and sweet to the horses and then here you are pushing poor storm he's fine look. see he likes being pushed he doesn't though I don't feel like he does. Like he gets. Yeah, Storm, Storm's my buddy. Storm's my buddy. Prince, my buddy. My buddy. And Sophie and Finn did phenomenal again. I never run Storm again. You are running Storm again. Every other time is what works. Kind of works for you. Well, I'm running Finn next time, and the next time, and the next time. <laughs> He's so good. I never know why I stop. Yeah. Sylvie, this time you should agree to ride Finn as much as you want and then go back to Storm when you need to. Instead of just saying, like, I'm only going to ride him or I'm only going to ride this one. I only want to ride Finn now. God. First heart of the day, you guys. So, drop the kids off at home and Sam and I are making a tax store run. You're not allowed to shop. And you're not allowed to go look around for stuff, but you're allowed to go in and buy what you need. So, I'm going down there and buying what I need and show you guys what's on the list for January. Since we had Christmas, we don't really need any kind of tack, any kind of, any, any fun stuff. Uh, although I have to tell you that there's going to come a time where I'm going to go and do my own shopping for me. Like as I, like I have to prove to myself that I'm going to do a lot with Penny this summer before I invest in stuff because I, and I am going to do that anyways, but I am going to actually invest. Like I'm going to be buying stuff that I actually like for me instead of just getting what the girls don't want. But anyways, so I got another liver flush for Penny because we're almost out and she does really well on this and I like it. And I bought one for Chino too because I was looking up all the symptoms that you have to have to have. Uh, did you guys know that the liver is the biggest organ in the horse's body? Anyway, so I bought one for Chino. I'm going to try it on him, try it with him just to see if it's like and there's nothing wrong with chino other than he has bad feet but i want to try it on him because there's something like i know you i know like there's two ways to look at horses you can feel what they feel like an empath or you can look at their ears and look at their how they're standing and you can look at them and try and figure it out that way but when i look into his eyes and i look into his heart i can feel that he's like i don't know there's something off with him like he's still lost still sad him moving from his home to our home was a big thing one of the big things they say to look for for a liver problem in your horse is if they have those rings around his feet like those rings that tell you like he's had hard things going on so I bought a liver flush for Chino and I'm gonna try it and see how he does also thanks to a couple of people um, that messaged me too I think are our photographer girl you guys know her and another girl messaged me and they use this stuff called Keratex Carat hoof hardener and I was like yeah that's not gonna help us the only problem that Chino has with his feet is 
that he has flat feet. So this is not gonna grow and make his feet harder, or this is not gonna make his feet less flat, but I was reading up on it and it says that it's gonna uh, strengthen it enough so that it's going to help shoes stay in longer. So um, we have some other stuff. People swear by this, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it on Storm's feet too. And like our farrier tells us not to use iodine and stuff like that on horses because what happens is that when you harden a horse's hooves you can trap bacteria and stuff in there i think that's what it is that he tells me but anyways i'm gonna try this stuff i like the fact that you can paint it on kind of have more control it feels like than a supplement anyways i got those and i got six shavings and that's it that's all i got today but we needed to go we needed to get that stuff so i'm glad that that's good i'm glad we got it it's all done we're good for a while now. So we are home and Sophie's still finishing up her schoolwork. Gabby is done doing her schoolwork. My goal for January is to really get my house back in order, like to clean up all the homeschool stuff. I found a fortune cookie when I was cleaning out the fridge. Sometimes I feel like God gives you messages in all these simple ways, like showing you hearts and showing you signs. And so when the fortune cookie fell out of the fridge and onto my foot, I decided to eat it and i opened it and my and my fortune is a big surprise it's on its way and i believe that you guys i have felt that a big change is coming a big surprise is on its way i believe it i believe it may she's shaking i know other than the fact that i need to trim her nails yes i know this but can you guys notice a, a change in her she's aged so much like when she was 10 i looked at her and she was still a puppy and when she was 11 i looked at her and she was still a puppy and now that she's 12 i look at her and she's not the same puppy anymore like she's way weaker her eyes are not as bright she's more she's lost weight like even though she eats all the time and we feed her a lot her teeth are okay like she is not the same puppy like you can see i can see the beginning of the end and the same with her cat too i do i see it and it's sad it's a sad thing like it's just sad it's just sad knowing that your dog is gonna die even if it's not today or tomorrow or next week or next month it's imminent and it is coming huh macy girl yeah Okay, I don't know if I already said this, but I made a homemade poppet. She made a homemade poppet, and this is the nicest one that I've ever seen her make. If any of you guys are adults and you don't know what I'm talking about or what she's doing, these are fidget toys. They're getting to be huge right now. I put Daisy's coat on her because she's always cold. I should maybe put one on Macy too, do you think? Macy can't fit any. Macy can fit them. She's got Maybe her own... Did. Maybe she needs to go out. You should put her out before we leave. Go put her out. <laughs> Oops. Really packed. Oops. Don't you know that you're beautiful?